All right, so we're gonna go over slam, but specifically capturing slam at an underpass. So first thing we wanna do once we've got the green light, we're gonna use the one button method, single push followed by a long push. And once we get that blink, we know it's going. And then I'm gonna start recording up here on my Insta360 camera. Now what I wanna do is I wanna allow for a 30 second static data capture. While we're doing that, you know, I'm holding the, uh, the LiDAR unit as steady as possible, but we are gonna be walking into this underpass. What I want to make sure is known is that we've moved far away from the underpass so that the GNSS receiver on top of the camera is not obstructed, so it can receive quality satellite information. Um, however, we still are close enough to some of those features that we're getting reflections with the LiDAR scanner, which we want. So we can see with the flashing green light, we're still getting our data capture, which is what we want. And right now the unit is a little bit low. The main reason we have that unit so low is so that the shadow from my head allows you to see the green light. But once the static collection has been finished, we're going to move this unit above my head so there uh, the scan is able to be unobstructed and I am gonna start collecting data. So I'm walking on what I'm gonna call the far side of this path. So I am on the, the far right of the paved path and as I approach the underpass, what I'm gonna do when I get to this first part is I'm gonna do this small tilt back that way. And then I'm gonna continue walking and I'm gonna get, to get to the next part and I'm gonna do another small tilt. And what these small tilts are doing is you can think of them as essentially painting. Now, they're painting the far side of the underpass over in that direction. So what I'm doing is I'm getting those scans to go out to the opposite side of the underpass and getting the under part of it. You'll see it over in this particular underpass. There's a pretty significant amount of features right here. So we're just going through, we're walking slowly, and at each of these little areas, I'm doing that painting method. I don't need to do too much of an angle on it um, because that could cause issues with the IMU. And then I'm gonna come out here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna avoid, I don't wanna go too far into that field where there's not a lot of features for the, the LiDAR reflections. I'm gonna carefully walk across these rocks. And now I'm gonna walk over to essentially the opposite side of the area that I scanned the first time. And I'm gonna repeat the process. And what this is gonna do is now my painting motion is going to collect the data on the underside of that area that the painting motion earlier didn't capture. So kind of filling in the gaps. And if you need to, feel free to use two hands. I know slam can take a bit of time. And then you'll walk on through. And then I'm gonna come back, get my last painting motion. And then I'll walk on through and as with our SLAM data sets, even if you are collecting the uh, GPS data, you wanna make sure you focus on loop closure. So we are going to make sure that we come back to an area that was previously surveyed. So it's there for reference. And then we'll do another 30 second static data capture at the end to let everything uh, finish collecting. And then once that's done, we're gonna just use the one button method to turn it all off. All right, now I can bring this down. We get my head in the way, so I'll do a short push and then another long push. And then it'll do a couple blinks while the data's getting written and saved. And then once we're back at that solid green light, 
we can push the button and hold it till everything powers off. Thank you.